2014, China embarked on an unprecedented endeavor in the South China Sea, constructing artificial islands that would have far-reaching geopolitical implications. Over the course of just one year, Chinese engineers managed to create several land areas, totaling more than four square kilometers. This audacious project involved extensive geological exploration, strategic engineering solutions, and the deployment of massive resources. The creation of these artificial islands has not only sparked territorial disputes among neighboring countries but has also raised concerns about environmental degradation in the region. This article explores the geopolitical significance of China's artificial islands in the South China Sea and examines the environmental implications of these massive construction projects. Geopolitical Significance The South China Sea, a strategically important maritime region, serves as a crucial transit route for goods worth over $3 trillion annually. It connects the Far East and Southeast Asia with the Indian subcontinent, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. Control over this area is vital for ensuring smooth trade and maintaining regional influence. China's creation of artificial islands in the South China Sea has raised concerns among its Asian rivals, who perceive it as an attempt to exert dominance over the entire region. The Paracel Islands, in particular, have become a focal point of contention among China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Brunei, Taiwan, and Malaysia. Furthermore, the South China Sea is believed to hold substantial hydrocarbon reserves, with estimates varying from 1.1 billion to 18 billion barrels of oil. The Ministry of Geology and Mineral Resources of China claims the potential volume could be as high as 18 billion barrels. This vast hydrocarbon potential adds another layer of geopolitical significance to the region, as control over these resources can significantly impact a country's energy security and economic stability. Economic Dependency and Security Concerns the economies of many countries in the region are heavily reliant on the smooth functioning of trade routes across the South China Sea. For instance, Japan depends on the sea for approximately 80% of its energy imports, while China's foreign trade is tied to this maritime area, accounting for about 60% of its total trade volume. Therefore, ensuring the security and stability of the South China Sea is of paramount importance to these nations. China has pursued a dual approach to secure its trade routes. On one hand, it seeks to diversify its export logistics by developing land and combined delivery routes to key economic regions. On the other hand, China has invested in foreign ports strategically located around the world as part of its One Belt One Road initiative, specifically the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. These initiatives demonstrate China's commitment to safeguarding its economic interests and securing its trade routes in case of potential military or political crises. Disputed Territories and China's Claims the South China Sea has long been an arena of competing territorial claims, with several archipelagos and coral reefs in dispute. China, guided by its infamous Nine Dash Line, asserts territorial sovereignty and maritime rights over a vast portion of the sea. However, neighboring countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Brunei have their own conflicting claims, resulting in ongoing tensions. China's expansion and military presence in the South China Sea have escalated over the years. In the past, China mainly focused on establishing control over the disputed territories by organizing observation posts and maintaining small garrisons. However, in 2010, a significant shift occurred as China actively began converting these islands into fully-fledged bases. Through extensive dredging operations, China expanded the size of these land masses, creating naval bases, airfields, communication centers, radars, air defense systems, and missile attack warning systems. These developments have significantly enhanced China's presence and influence in the region. Environmental Implications The rapid construction of artificial islands in the South China Sea has taken a toll on the region's delicate ecosystems. The dredging of sand from the seabed and its deposition on these islands have led to the destruction of coral reefs and marine habitats. Coral reefs are vital for marine biodiversity and play a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance of the ocean. The loss of these reefs can have devastating consequences for marine life and the livelihoods of local communities dependent on fishing and tourism. The environmental impact of China's artificial islands extends beyond the destruction of coral reefs. The dredging process itself can result in sedimentation and turbidity, affecting water quality and visibility. It can also disrupt the natural flow of sediment, which is essential for the stability and sustainability of coastal ecosystems. Additionally, the construction of infrastructure, including airfields and harbors, can lead to further habitat destruction and pollution. 
international concerns and responses. China's activities in the South China Sea have raised concerns among other nations, particularly those with vested interests in the region. In September 2021, the AUKUS alliance was formed, comprising Australia, Britain, and the United States. This alliance aims to counterbalance China's influence and assertiveness in the South China Sea. Australia, as part of this alliance, plans to develop its own nuclear submarine fleet. Despite these concerns, China continues to press forward with its territorial expansion and infrastructure development in the South China Sea. The international community, including environmentalists and advocates for peaceful resolutions, hope that the situation does not escalate into a full-blown military conflict. The fate of the South China Sea and its disputed territories holds significant implications for global trade, security, and the preservation of the environment. Conclusion China's creation of artificial islands in the South China Sea has transformed the geopolitical landscape of the region. These islands have become focal points of territorial disputes, with neighboring countries and global powers vying for control. The economic importance of the South China Sea, coupled with its hydrocarbon potential, has further intensified the competition for influence in the region. However, the environmental consequences of China's massive construction projects cannot be ignored. The destruction of coral reefs and disruption of marine ecosystems are causing long-lasting damage to the delicate balance of the South China Sea's biodiversity. The international community has expressed concerns about the environmental impact and potential escalation of conflicts in the region. As tensions continue to simmer, it is essential for all stakeholders to prioritize dialogue, cooperation, and sustainable development. Balancing geopolitical interests with environmental preservation is crucial for the long-term stability and well-being of the South China Sea and its surrounding nations.